Did you know that about 20% of cardiovascular related deaths in Canada are due to strokes? Strokes are the third most common cause of death for adults in Canada, coming after heart disease and cancer. For those who are fortunate enough to survive a stroke, it's quite common that they're left with physical or mental disabilities that will significantly impact their lives. As you will learn in this video, if you witness someone experiencing a stroke, the best thing you can do is to be fast, as every second counts when dealing with a stroke. Anyone is at risk for experiencing a stroke. However, there are certain factors that may make someone more likely to fall victim to one. High blood pressure, diabetes, obesity, heart disease, smoking, alcohol and drug consumption, and a general poor lifestyle are all things that can make someone more likely to have a stroke. Unfortunately, there are also factors that we cannot control that make us more susceptible to strokes. Some of these inevitable risk factors of stroke are increasing age, family history of strokes, being of the male gender, and a personal history of heart disease. So what are strokes? Let's get into the video. There are two main types of stroke. The majority of strokes are ischemic strokes. These strokes occur when the arteries that supply the brain with blood become blocked. This causes the brain to lose its blood flow, which it needs to maintain function. Two types of ischemic strokes are thrombotic and embolic strokes. Thrombotic strokes occur when a thrombus, which is another name for a blood clot, forms in an artery that supplies blood to the brain. This clot can be caused by fat that builds up in the body due to lifestyle factors. The second type of ischemic stroke, an embolic stroke, occurs when a clot forms further away from the brain, likely in the heart, and it travels towards the brain to be lodged in a small artery. In summary, ischemic strokes are caused by blood clots that prevent blood flow to the brain. The less common type of stroke, a hemorrhagic stroke, occurs when a blood vessel in the brain breaks, resulting in a hemorrhage, which is a rapid flow of blood in the brain. This type of stroke can be caused by high blood pressure, taking blood thinners, or an aneurysm, which is a weak spot in the blood vessel. This bleeding in the brain damages the affected area, causing the brain to lose function in certain areas. A third type of stroke is not a complete stroke, but what is known as a mini-stroke. A transient ischemic attack is the temporary loss of blood flow to part of the brain, which causes minor symptoms of a stroke, but with no permanent damage. Having one of these mini strokes puts someone at a greater risk for having a real stroke later on, so this indicates that an artery near the brain may be starting to be blocked. As previously mentioned, strokes can lead to debilitating side effects. These effects become more likely and more severe for the longer the blood flow to the brain is disrupted. One side effect of stroke is paralysis, which is the loss of ability to move an area of the body. The brain controls movement of the body, so damage to the brain can hinder movement. This can sometimes be overcome with physical therapy, but sometimes it's permanent. Another effect of stroke is the inability to This can be helped with speech therapy, but again, depending on the severity, it could last. People may also experience memory loss, an inability to control emotions, behavioral issues, and pain and numbness in the body think someone may be experiencing a stroke, it is crucial that they get help immediately. You may have heard of the acronym FAST that can help identify a stroke, but recent studies have shown that FAST actually doesn't do a good enough job. Here we'll break down the new and improved acronym, Be FAST. The B stands for balance. If the stroke occurs in an area of the brain that controls balance, a person may display a sudden loss of balance. If someone is suddenly dizzy and loses their balance, they may be experiencing a stroke. The E stands for eyes. If a stroke occurs in an area of the brain that controls vision, such as the occipital lobe, someone may experience a sudden vision loss in one or both eyes. The F is for face. A stroke may cause weakness in the face, usually on one side. This is because one side of the brain controls the opposite side of the body. So for example, if a stroke in the left hemisphere of the brain occurs, it may cause drooping on the right side of the face. If you think someone is having a stroke, ask them to smile. If only one side of their mouth moves, this is a big sign that something is going wrong in the brain, and it could very well be a stroke. A stands for arms. One arm may be weak, just like one side of the face may be. If you ask someone to raise both arms and they can only raise one, this is another indicator that someone is having a stroke. The S is for speech. If you notice that someone is suddenly unable to speak properly and they have slurred speech or speech that just doesn't make sense, ask them to repeat a simple sentence. If they can't, this is another sign of a stroke. Finally, the T stands for time to call 911. If you see someone that is displaying these symptoms, even just one of them, and even if they go away quickly, they need help. A stroke may come and go quickly, but it needs to be treated as soon as possible. There are three types of medication that a physician may give a stroke victim. 
The first drug is called TPA, which stands for Tissue Plasminogen Activator. This type of drug is a clot buster, so TPA is given to treat ischemic strokes. In order for TPA to break down the blood clot, it must be given to a patient within four and a half hours of the first stroke symptoms. TPA can reverse some of the side effects of the stroke, allowing for a quicker recovery. This just goes to show how crucial it is for a stroke to be identified as soon as possible, as there is a very small window of time that TPA can be administered. Blood thinners can also be given to prevent existing blood clots from becoming larger and to prevent new ones from forming. These may be prescribed long-term to people who have had a stroke to reduce the likelihood of them having another. People may also be prescribed medication to lower their blood pressure or cholesterol levels, which is also allowing them to prevent a second stroke from occurring. Hopefully this video has taught you a little bit more about strokes and why it's so important to know the signs and act immediately if you think someone is experiencing one. Remember to be fast. Look for problems with balance, eyes and vision, facial drooping, arm drooping, and speech issues. And if someone is experiencing any of these symptoms, it's time to call 911. Strokes can be very dangerous, and a victim has the best chance of recovering from one if they get medical help as soon as they can. And this could be up to you.